Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a wet test on a sunscreen and it is from the Micelle Dermaceuticals. So I hope you guys enjoy today's content. If you do, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so I can create more contents like this. So this is the Micelle sunscreen. It is SPF 50. It has zinc oxide in here and the shade I got is light to medium and it is a matte sunscreen so I'm super excited because I like matte sunscreens. And let's open this package up. It is a clean product and it's reef safe. Hmm, and this is how the bottle looks like. Okay, the formula looks very liquidy. And this is how the color looks like. So far, I really like this tint. And it feels very liquidy, very watery, and silky at the same time. The formula absorbs into my skin really, really fast. It feels like my skin is drinking water. Hmm. And it has a lot of pills. There's a lot of pills coming off my chin. It feels like when I put more product on, it's going to peel. So let me reapply a little bit here and see. So this is me applying some more. Hmm. So this is how the sunscreen looks like. Now the color is very pretty. The tint is very pretty. It's not too sheer but not too heavy. And it's definitely not completely matte. It has a little bit of a shine to it. Which is really pretty. I wish it didn't peel already though. I'm going to add a little bit of my eye total. And my total eye is SPF 35. And this is my Solar Sciences Lip Sunscreen. This one is SPF 30. Sunscreen looks really good from far away. Um, I'm going to wear it for the rest of the day and see how it goes. So this is how my skin looks like in a lot of daylight. It looks very, very glowy, very silky, and the tint is very pretty. So it has been 10 hours and this is how my skin looks like. Now the sunscreen is not matte. Uh, my face is pretty oily right now, uh, but I'm kind of surprised and happy that it's not drying. And the pills kind of went away, but I haven't reapplied the sunscreen because I was at work the whole day today and I was pretty busy. Um, but I'm going to reapply and see. And no pills. I feel like with this sunscreen, one, it is dry. I cannot reapply immediately, otherwise it's going to pills. So that's a drawback for me with this sunscreen. Compared to my other matte sunscreens, uh, this one is the Solar MD Sciences sunscreen. It is also not water resistant, but it is SPF 50 and it comes in a couple of different shades. And it blends really, really well. 
a dozen pills. And the color looks pretty similar to the My Chili sunscreen. And it's definitely on a matte side compared to the My Chili sunscreen. And one other matte sunscreen that I like to compare to is the SkinCeuticals Physical Sunscreen. This one is SPF 50 and it's also not water resistant but the texture and the color look very very similar to the Micheli sunscreen and also look very similar to my uh, MD Solar Sciences matte sunscreen here. And this is how it looks like, pretty liquidy. And it blends really well. It does stay matte the whole day, but it's not too matte. And it definitely doesn't pill. And this one has both titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. Now, if I had to pick a matte, non-water resistant sunscreen, I'm definitely going for my ME Solar Sciences sunscreen here. This one's easy to buy. It is on Amazon. Um, otherwise, I'm definitely going for my SkinCeutical sunscreen here. This one I bought straight from the SkinCeutical's website. And I believe this one is a little bit cheaper than the MB Solar Sciences sunscreen. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next one. Bye.